So we're supposed to write um, this number in the Hindu Arabic numeral system, so like 7, 4, 3, something like that. Uh, so in order to make that happen, uh, they got a little note that this iota means that it's uh, times a thousand. So let's write out our number, and then we can see. Um, let's see what we gotta do here. So this first symbol here is here, which means it's a seven in the thousands place because of the iota. So it's in the thousands place. And now the next symbol, we have a row that's in the hundreds place. So we'll put a one here for the hundreds place. We have this symbol that kind of looks like a K. Um, looks like Kappa, so that's in the twenties. Uh, so that's in the tens place, that's a 20. And then we have this funny looking N symbol, which is Eta, or Eta, I guess I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It means an eight in the ones place. This one's asking us to work in reverse. We have 7,325. We need to put that in um, into the Greek uh, into a Greek numeral. So seven needs to be in the thousands place. So there's that notation we can use again. Let's find the number seven, which is right here. So we're going to use that symbol zeta, and we're going to put an iota in front of it to show that that's 7,000. And then we need three in the hundreds place, so we've got tau for that. We need two in the, tw in the tens place, so that's a 20, that's kappa, which we just saw in the last one. <laughs> that's my kappa. And then we have five, that's epsilon. Okay, um, let's see, that's this one's out because that doesn't have 7,000. The other ones do. This is 7,000. This means 7,000. This means 7,000. Uh, this one's our winner. That's the one that matches what we just wrote.